Hi everybody, it's Julie and I am here with my junk trunk kit from Jessica and I'm a cool mom. Um, this is the January kit and I purchased it from her shop on Etsy in the very first couple of minutes and it just came today. And I am looking forward and excited to open it. And so let's see if I can just reach in here and pull it all out. Okay, so we're empty on the inside, hooray. And here we go. We got a package of lace. I am so excited to get this kit. I've already watched the videos except for the, the bead tutorial. So there are beads in here, really pretty colors. Um, okay, yeah, this one looks like a soccer ball. Very cool. <laughs> and it has a clasp. It has the beading uh, material or thread. It's kind of like fishing line. It has some of the, oh, what are those called? Eye pens or something like that. Some seed beads. Oh, this is going to be fun. So that is for the bead um, dangle. And then in here is some of the, the thread. And here's the black elastic. So there's the elastic. And this, I believe this is the waxed um, binding material that she likes to use. And so this is the package of lace. And that's really pretty. This is really purple. And it's good. It's, it's um, well, got 18. And 18, so like a yard of the purple. I really like the brown. Really, really like the brown. And there's 18. Um, almost a yard of the brown. And there we go. Pink is my favorite color. Especially, I like magenta type pinks and hot pink. So there's 18. And 12. So there's 30 inches of that. Love that. Oh, I love this. It's kind of a cross between a burgundy and a brown. 18 and 10 so 28 inches of that that is a nice little bundle right there and this has a little note it says extra defective material so i saw on her video that she had gotten some of her faux leather came and it had defects in it so this is a piece of the defective material so i'm excited to be one of the people that got a piece of this and then this is some sari silk, I believe is what it said. This is from Victoria, Victorian Gypsy Girl on Etsy. And I really, I've, I, I wanted to see what the big thing was about this. It's, it's basically seam binding, isn't it? I don't know. That's my first time I ever had any in my hand. Well, that I know of. <laughs> okay, so next we'll... I'm going to turn all this over because I think I have it upside down. So this kit is called Retro Vibes. And on this card, she's um, re um, put down who some of the items came from and I will put this over here so I can make sure and tell you and the junk trunk um, design team was Lindsay Zanor, Scrap Crafters, My Life Mitts, Charmed by Ashley, Paper Pixie, Liz Drake, and Mind, Mind Beretti Kit. So um, very cool. So this is Oh, the secret link inside to the junk for the, these, this is the secret link for the videos and they are very good. Um, 
I know she sells just the videos also. I think they're $18. And um, they were good. I, I enjoyed watching them. I had to, I had to wait to watch them because uh, my husband was hanging around. So I had to wait. He doesn't like hearing other all the voices and stuff. He drives him crazy. So um, yeah. So that's my secret link there. Um, this is a a package, and of course we're able to use the glassine bag. I like the size of this. It's interesting. Interesting that the binding of it is on the side. So anyway, um, some Pictionary cards. And um, I've seen people that are like, what, do, well, what would you do with them? And and they're turning it over and they're covering this side. And if you got this material, I think that side is awesome. And you can write in between. I so so, but you have two. These are two sided, so these are. I think they said they were vintage Pictionary cards. Very cool, and a Rolodex card, and a layaway tag. These are fun because they're perforated, and they're different. It's a good size tag, and a green guest check and a pink guest check. Another bag, and. A card very eclectic now when I put this with this it almost looks blue huh hmm interesting so next we have the Amore fabrics a shop for create for the creative minds and I've gone on here and looked and she's got some awesome awesome um, stuff and she if you bought the kit she is going to do a giveaway, and um, she's giving away one of her junk trunk uh, kits, I believe it is, on there. So this is from Amore Fabrics, and she is more than just fabrics, but she has quilts and, like, chenille bedspreads and all kinds of cool stuff on there. I love her card, and I will probably put her card, this card in my book. I am excited that I got this batch of material and I'll show you in a minute because I've been collecting items based on these colors um, for to use in this book and um, I love this look at that now I will probably use this in something else and I just got that red and white and I'll just read the red and white um, crocheted edge doily thing that I just got and I'll probably put that in here um, but we'll see I, I love those materials so there's a piece of this and it's really it feels like it's starched and um, and then this and then this I love this I love that and some blue gingham and some red gingham very cool and then a couple of buttons. So there's this bright yellow or golden yellow and a green one, two different sizes. Okay, and then this is from out of a cookbook Tuna salad lamaze, lamaze, oven, easy oven fillets. Hmm. So that will go in there. So that was from Amore Fabrics. And I look forward to her giveaway. Pick me, pick me. Oh my gosh. I, I just saw my, I just saw my, my real faux leather. I am so, oh wow. So excited. So pretty. So another cute glassine bag with the print on it. This is from Above Par Crafts. Above Par Crafts. And it's cute. There's like scissors and pins and buttons on their little tag. Okay. 
and it, so another cute bag to be able to use and oh my gosh look at this another cute bag to be able to use look at this little little spool is that so cute <laughs> I was just looking at um, stuff on my Cricut because I, I need some tags to cut out for a journal I have to make today um, and there was a thread spool on there I'm like oh my gosh that is that is so cute I might leave that like it is it's really cute um, this will be really cute looks totally retro kind of looks like a pot <laughs> and a nice little tag here and then her card and I will probably put I don't know I might make a new another journal of business cards and, and um, stuff so we'll see so this was above par crafts and uh oh I don't remember if this was I, I think this was in there too your time is up. Oh, this is from a uh, library. So it's a library. Please return your library book. And then um, name, number of copies, expires, source, price, process. So this is another kind of little ephemera card. I like that. So that'll be fun. So my faux leather has a sheen. It's kind of bronze color. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna I'm not gonna use this for this project. I'm gonna use this for my prayer journal. Oh this is gorgeous, I think. I think I'm gonna use it. That would mean though I need I don't know. I love it. I love Can you see that shine? Or that sheen? The sheen or the shine? Very, very, very pretty. Beautiful choice, Jessica. Oh, and I love this fabric. I saw her use this fabric on um, in the video. And I was like, oh, that reminds me of my childhood. And it's so soft. Oh, my gosh. It's thick. It's really thick. Can you see through it? Can't see through it. It's really thick. It's really very, very nice. Maybe that will be. I don't know. I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay, and now this is the papers that she sent. I like this ledger paper. My ledger paper that I have right now comes down about here before you start having... Because um, I like lines to write on. So there is a piece of ledger paper. And then we have some vintage book pages. So there we go. And some more vintage book pages, a different size. This one is in a different language. I don't know. It's not, I don't think it's French. <laughs> Oh, how cute. This is from a cookbook. Chocolate cherry round. Blueberry coffee cake. Topsy-turvy coffee ring. And two-way coffee bread. I like that. And then some coffee dyed paper. And here's... Oh, this is the cool paper that she dyed on the muffin tin. I watched that video. And she, when she coffee dyes, she um, folds her paper in and dries it folded, which I think is really kind of cool. I like this. It's such a pale pink. And then an envelope. And then we have, okay, so I'm going to move these so that I can read the thing over here. So this is from... Mind Beretti. Mind Beretti. M I N D B A R R E T T Y. And this is a digital printout and um, it's available in her Etsy shop. So, and this one is a meal planner from what I understand. 
and oh my gosh it's printed out so nice and shiny and it has totally retro vibes too busy to bake <laughs> a recipe dessert date breakfast menu. If you want breakfast in bed, sleep in the kitchen. <laughs> I used to have a magnet or something that said that. Favorite dishes. Look, they're pushing her, pushing mom out of the kitchen. <laughs> Where grandma dips and dippers, it says. Imagine a kitchen menu ideas and there's a very interesting looking salad there meals plan with a schedule there Christmas Muriel cellophane tape quick beat cake shopping for this week what worked this week and a note so um, these are one-sided pages that have been um, run off or run off, copied, and can be cut down. And I believe they are like um, traveler's notebook size, but aren't they cute? Oh my gosh, absolutely cute! So um, I'm like, and then there's the ephemera page. So the tag has a pie and um, yeah so this is gonna be so much fun I got to figure out exactly what I'm gonna do it's kind of interesting I did it looks like I pretty much got the same kit that Jessica was working with um, so that will be be kind of fun and Yeah, so what was your favorite thing in the kit as I pick it up and and then I show you the things. I'm going to show you the things I've been collecting once I decided I was going to go ahead and purchase this. Um, I made an extra sale on Etsy and I got another order for a junk journal. So um, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this. This is going to be fun. I want... I. I'm excited to be able to support another YouTuber Etsy shop and I'm really excited to um, to use it so I'm come, I'm over here where my my kit boxes are or my project boxes I'm trying not to knock over my mom's prayer journal box Okay, so I have, this is the box that when you saw my tour, um, this is ribbon. And so I'm going to pull out, this is like elastic. I'm going to pull out this ribbon and this vintage hair tie. You all remember those? Oh my gosh. So I'm going to put that in my kit. And... Let's see. Was this little piece of the red and white gingham, I'm going to put it in there. Oh, I thought I had a red flower. I guess there's just the pink one in there now. So I think that might be. Oh, this red rickrack. So there's some red rickrack. And this is, when I was cleaning out stuff one time, this was the box I was putting everything in as I cleaned it out. So, oh, and the yellow. The yellow can go in there. So I think I'm going to go with the red and the yellow and the blue. I am going to do something to do with recipes. I know that. So this is my kit box of things that I've been putting aside as I was cleaning my craft room to add to it. 
So I had this red and white striped little envelope. I had this little yellow bag, this yellow and white gingham paper, some blue doilies. Yay, it came out dead. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, I didn't know these were in here. There's some white hearts. These are some yellow, it's a yellow strip of paper that can be turned, there's two of them, that can be turned into a rosette. Um, a yellow note card that was from somebody, but I can repurpose that. And this said Sella, oh, the eight, I have the eight, so it'll be Celebrate. Um... This was, I don't know if you remember the video where I was talking about recycling buttons and this was, the, <laughs> this was the lazy way to do it. You don't have time to actually go through and cut the buttons off. You just cut the front off the shirt. And so I, I did. <laughs> um, these just came in my extravaganza swap. And so I put them right straight into this box. So... Um, this was a card that I had, and I was just making card starts. I call them card starts. It's like a base for a card. I used the rest of the stickers on this sticker sheet, and then I just put the couple of them on some cards and have them ready for something. I love this card. I, I went ahead and stuck it in there. It's an embossing folder. And I thought this was funny, the old maid. And I have the old maid game, but I thought that it would be funny to put this possibly in there. Um, I had one of these tags. Um, these stickers. This it says diner. This, um, it reminds me of Wonder Woman. And it is one of the sets of uh, trims that I got from... Uh, Michael's when I got the 220 trims in the grab bags. There's this ribbon This came from Joyce and I will either use it in this or I might use it in my um, My December daily or something but I I was like I think I want to put that in there Um this eye candy, visually pleasing, hard to resist, treat yourself. I thought that was kind of fun. I thought I could cover this maybe and use this card. It's just a card from somebody that sent me some happy mail. I had these brown uh, craft stickers that I got at the Dollar Tree for when I was doing the Dollar Tree junk journal. And I didn't end up using them. So I've got those. I've got some more blue doilies and a red doily. I have uh, multiplication cards, blue on one side, red on the other, and then some recipe cards. So here's one that's got um, mixing bowls and stirring things, and then this one with the cherries on it, and then a couple more um, uh, Project Life cards. This is another sticker sheet that I had. And I thought maybe. And then these had to do with food. So these are some back in the day, way back in the day. I think these were in the 80s. Oh, 2001 it says. Um, 2001. Yeah, the 80s I wasn't at Vons. But when I worked at Vons, they had a, a rack in the front where you could, there were postcards and they were all, this one's SpaghettiOs. Okay. They were all advertisements. This one's Cheerios. And then this I got in a, in some something like from a yard sale or something. I got some Oscar Mayer Wiener mobiles. So that's, you know, when you go out. This was left over from um, a junk journal that I made. And so it's ready to be put into something. We have a white doily couple of graph pages these are some cards that I got in swaps back in the day when I when I sold um, uh, dots close to my heart rubber stamps so I was like oh my gosh these could go in there maybe 
I have this paper pad and it has cupcakes and it has the colors are good so maybe that this tulip card these are invitations to a party that I did for my mom a couple of them but they're but I, I was like oh my gosh these were recipe file folders that you could get at Dollar Tree a while back here's another embossed paper an envelope this is a vintage florist card it was in something that I bought at Goodwill here's some vintage index cards this is just some yellow this was the rest of a yellow paper pad okay so I stuck it in here um, some blue tickets couple different colors of blue these are leftover tickets from a raffle I had this. This was, um, I stamped this uh, with close to my heart stamps. And I just masked them. I think this is the one I masked this. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. But anyway, that was in my box. Here's another envelope that we put an uh, inside in it. So um, it's pretty. Some pa uh, tracing paper. A blue card, a couple of white panel cards, this yellow paper, and it's red on the other side. I mean, how perfect. This is a blue doily that I got at a yard sale. And this is a white doily I got at a yard sale. And then when I saw this material, when she was using this, this material, I... I was like, oh, I need to find a stencil that is looks to looks retro. So um, I got this. You saw it in the the Michaels haul from the other day, and it was three ninety nine. I did have that thirty percent off coupon off all my regular price items, so I got it. But I thought this was really cool because it's totally retro. That that design there. Okay, so now I got. I don't know. I might use this as my cover. We, I'm going to try it. Okay. I just, you know, I like to do things that are different. This is vinyl top. Oh, wait a minute. That's vinyl top liner, non-adhesive and non-slip cushions and protects. It's washable and stain resistant. So, um, you've seen it. It's shelf liner. Basically, I got this at my dollar 49 cent store and I was like, you know what? I'm going to try that. I'm going to, I'm going to sew something in it that will be thicker. I think I might try gluing it, might try a variety of things with it, but I thought, oh. and so I'm so excited that I got the, the materials that I got. So there's more. Um, I added, there's some bandana type quilted looking material in here um, randomly there is a piece of black white polka dot <laughs> don't know it I think it just got put in the wrong thing this is from all those uh, all that material I got this weekend at the yard sale so I stuck that in here um, here are these recipe cards I got from um, my friend Julie and um, she she's like, oh, so you'd be interested in like some old recipe cards? I'm like, yeah. And so these were in it and they're old and they'll, they'll be perfect in here, I think. And then these I had bought at Goodwill. A little, it's a box and it had, it was a lot of these in it. So that will go in it. I also have some Paula Deen um recipe cards that I've got for the special project that's coming up or the special kit that's coming up. Um, and there's plenty in there. So I will have those and they have a blue edge. So here, this also came out of the material from this weekend. Here's some heart. And I think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to need this in here. So these are squares. I'm going to take this out and put it with my Valentine stuff. Okay, um, I have some 
little arrow stickers, a number 10, a blue and a yellow clothespin are also down in this bucket. So then at my $1.49 store, they had this Valance, okay? And I think it was $1.29 actually is what I paid for it. It has an edge, so it has a lace edge on it. It has lace panel, and then it's got vegetables, or it's got fruit and sunflowers. So it has grapes and peaches, but they kind of look more like apples. They're more red. And um, yeah, so I think that this is going to be a lot of fun. And it's, I don't get to work on this until I get my... Um, the journal, the order done, but uh, I am excited. So, what was your favorite thing, and and how do you get ready to make a project? And have you done project boxes? Um, just makes sense, especially when I'm going through and cleaning, because I was cleaning and going through things that just had random stuff in it and I had a place to put things and I don't have to go oh I remember seeing such and such and um, I do need to get the next I knew I was going to need the next size box once the kit got here because of the papers so um, I will be going to the store and getting I wanted to wait and make sure that I didn't already have one and I've used all my the next size up Sterilite bags boxes the bags boxes so um yeah so i am really really excited i'm excited about this kit jessica i cannot wait to to start playing with it i'm so glad that you put it together and i will be making videos as i will give you a, another look at what came in it um i will be making videos as i do make my, um, I mean, like I said, it's going to be some kind of food journal. This is the, sorry, silk. And the elastic, the beads, the thread, and oh my gosh, isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. And this is really cool too. I can't, oh. And I'm, like I said, I'm so excited that I got this set of fabric to be able to use um, with the things that I had been collecting. I was wondering, I'm like, am I going to get the, the one that has everything that all, that's matchy, matchy, matchy? That was on Jeopardy last night. Double trouble word thing and... And nobody got it. One of the things, it was matchy-matchy was the, <laughs> I was like, okay. So, yeah. So, uh, questions were, what was your favorite item in the kit? Did you get a kit? I'd really like to know if you got a kit. Please let me know if you got a kit. Um, and, and you're, and you're watching this video. I, um, I might have something for you and if you bought a kit what is the theme that you're going to be going with for your um, your junk journal or your paper crafting that you'll be making I did I show you this piece of material so this is a piece this is a strip of material basically that was in with the lace but isn't that a great idea so when you're making your your um, your tassels don't forget about material there you go get a look at how fast you got a cute little pink something yeah a pink something going on here <laughs> look at there yeah um yeah so and then the questions of do you um do you do project boxes do you collect things for projects as you go? Because like right now over there, I have 
the gold and black project, my mom's, um, my mom's prayer journal, my prayer journal, the Valentine stuff right now is sitting right there. Over here is the box with, um, the special order for this weekend. I have, I have another box. What's in the other box? I have the pink stuff. Um, I never did that. Pro I never made that project. So, um, yeah, those are just some of the, I mean, I have a Tinkerbell, a Winnie the Pooh, a Thomas the Train, the Madonna book. So as I'm going through things, I'm collecting and I'm putting the items that I think I would use into those, those project boxes. And it really helps me, um, to be... Um, more organized. So one other thing that I do though is not every single time I, you know, find something. It's like I'm going through and I, I found a pair of pink socks and they have lace on the edge, and I am not going to wear these the pink socks. So I cut the lace off, and you know where does it go? I I, or uh, and then I I was cleaning some stuff and I found a a couple of the black spiders the halloween spiders so i also have over next to the boxes over there i have a catch-all box so if i know if i don't i'm just i just find something it goes in that catch-all box and i know that it's supposed to go in the kit kit box down below or the project box so anyway you'll see more of that um i did do a partial craft room tour in live <laughs> yesterday in my um facebook group scrap all about it you're welcome to go over there join and look i will be doing a scrapbook room tour um i'll do it in parts so they're not these big long videos i'll do them in parts um probably within the next two weeks for reals because um i'm organizing and I will have everything done and then it, it won't be like this again till next year. <laughs> Probably I'll go back to having the the project on project piles. So um, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please answer those questions. I really want to know if you got a kit from Jessica and um, find something to celebrate every day. What are you celebrating? Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.